Alright, King of the Hammers, day one. We are with the winch mob. What's up guys, we're at King of the Hammers, day one. We are with the winch mob. We got our asses moving this morning. We're heading out to a, a spot over here, not too far from camp, but uh, I guess we gotta take the rocks to get to the spot where people usually get stuck. These guys, the winch mob, basically go location to location where people get stuck. They don't call them the winch mob for nothing. These guys go hard, and they're the reason why a lot of the race keeps going on, and uh, gotta, gotta get our asses back on track, so. See where we're going. So guys, we're with Corey, the winch mob. What's up? Just casually strolling through things that would normally destroy any vehicle. <laughs> just chilling, and this is nothing. This is nothing, right? This is Not chill. Yet. This is chill. Yeah, this... And then it's like, you know, Nelson's up there having a good time. I guess like when, when I hop into a truck and we're hitting up some whoops, it's like chill. And, that's pretty much how, how Corey is right now. He's literally just kind of chilling out. It's like driving by Braille. Just kind of see where the rocks are, and then you got to remember that spot where the rock is, and just Feel imagine it. your tire's going to go on that rock, and that's what you want to do. Keep your tires on rock. Definitely something we're not used to. How long have you been doing this, Corey? Uh, I got this rig, and this is my first rig about almost two years ago. What's crazy is that you're going through this so casually. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't get over how we're just like, oh yeah? And it's like, floor! Damn, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, this is, uh, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> So just like that, you know, you kind of get hung up real quick and uh, you got to find a quick solution. Travis is all mellow and my hand shaking and I'm not even in the car, bro. What are you guys doing? Search uh, my propane, propane tank. Propane tank. Yeah. Right, because these things run off propane. This one does. This one does. <laughs> I knew we were going to be filming this. I didn't think we were actually going to drive up it. <laughs> Dude, this is 
insane. Uh, out of all the years, huh, we've been doing this, it's like yeah. this is unlike yeah, I've never, any never. other experience. When you like start tipping over and like start getting close to a rock, you're like, dude, like, yeah, it's crazy. Don't do this. Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. Please keep all hands and feet within yeah. the vehicle at all times. I do want to be in the crawler. But man, I gotta film this from the outside. Again, we've never filmed something like this before, so it's pretty wild, man. So when the rock crawlers break down, these are the guys that are coming to the rescue. But things can go wrong for them too because they have to take the race course. Which is in itself, it's insane, man. Alright guys, so since we have a little bit of downtime before the uh, the cars get here, Corey's going to take us through his rig really quick. If you guys want to see more of this rig, like a detailed built to destroy, let us know in the comments and uh, show Corey some love, man. Really quick, what year make model? 85 Forerunner SR5. Call it a unicorn in a sense. It was the uh, first year EFI, last year the solid front axle. Are these highly desired in the rock crawler scene? Uh, rock crawler, yeah, and even just Toyota community alone. They really? Just, yeah, these guys, they love this truck. Hell yeah, man. Pretty much based off the uh, truck chassis, and then they just kind of made like the, I guess you'd call the SUV back in the day. The rims are uh, race lines. I picked them up uh, from somebody out of Corona. I know you were telling me a little story on these guys. Yeah, huh? cool backstory on them is that they were actually Jesse Combs race wheels. Oh, okay. She raced King of the Hammers in her uh, Savvy 88 truck. When I found that out after I bought them, I was like stoked. I was like, I got to keep these some things good forever. Luck. Some, some good juju on yeah, those wheels, man. Yeah. I think they've done me uh, some really good luck. The tires, they're uh, BFG uh, crawler red labels, non-DOT sticky tires. Okay. Uh, huge difference. I had blue labels for this, and it's just a night and day difference. Putting really? some sticky tires on this thing. And comms, what are you, what are you guys running in here? Uh, rugged radio. Rugged radio? Yeah. Cool, man. Well, I, you know, again, if you guys want to see more of this thing, let us know. We'll have Corey take us through it. Let us know in the comments. Helicopters are a symbol. They might be coming, right, yeah. Corey? Yeah, they're close. They're getting close, guys. Is that is that common, like for dudes oh, yeah. to get out and like? Especially in the rocks, you'll see co-drivers. Uh, 
We see it all the time. Co-drivers will hike the entire trail. I think I've been training for this for years, you know, <laughs> just running and running, chasing cars. This this could be my big break. So if you guys are looking for looking a co-driver co to run, yeah. I think I'm just used to approaching things in like a two-wheel drive truck. So that's how I would approach yeah. it, right? Like what is the easiest momentum. path? What, yeah, how can I create momentum? <laughs> Need momentum yeah. to get over whatever's in front of me other than, you know, take it slow, crawl it up it. Yeah. You know, let's get the front tire up over this so that we can get past whatever ledge obstacles holding us up. I've never been through rocks like this when we were coming in. And like I said, it was really cool You're to looking see at it like, where are we going? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, we're not, we're not going up that, right? right. <laughs> we were, when I was like, <laughs> looking down oh, at the rock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what a great way to start the trip. I'm sure yeah. Nelson Dude, I was, was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. He was monster trucking up the mountain. His line's gonna break. He's just in a rock and a hard place, I guess. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, he uh, got himself in a pickle. Going that way. Except for make the winch points 
give you know the co-driver a bottle of water. He's usually you know the workhorse yeah. for the team. So so no guidance. No Let them guidance. Do their own don't thing. tell them which way to go. Don't like. Let them figure don't it say out. hey go here go there. It's, it's just, you know, let them do the race. The only yeah. way you guys intervene is if their vehicles are stopping the race. Exactly. So that's when you're like, yo, we're going to get yeah. you out. Come here. Yeah, right, yeah. Hey, this is what you got to do. Get out and then get them moving. Yep, exactly. broken golf cart. Yeah. <laughs> And the determination behind these guys is pretty wild. The co-drivers are such a massive part of the driver's success. And to see them hustle and do all that, like, you know, it's non-stop, dude. All these guys are out of the car, check it out. So uh, it's pretty quiet over here at Bender Alley, race mile 104. We got some chicken on the grill. A bunch of guys came through. There was a lot of problems. The winch mob dudes uh, helped them pretty much solve everything, get it, get them on their way. How many people do you guys think you recovered? My rig probably hit 10 or 12. Travis probably, probably got three. three or four. Where are the other guys at right now? They're on Jackhammer. They're in Jackhammer? Jackhammer. And apparently it's jacked up over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just the course itself just is dumb. <laughs> So Travis is going to show us on the Onyx app. We're here on Bender Alley. We Go had to around. come in up through Wrecking Ball. And our buddies, if you zoom out, are over on Jackhammer. 
So it's been pretty dead for the last couple hours, but we just got an update. Travis, what's the word? Uh, we got one more guy moving down below us. He's probably half a mile to a mile below us with two other cars stuck down there as well, not moving. So don't know if he's helping them out or if we're gonna have to turn around and go down the trail and get them out after this. So. Once he passes us, yes. we're going to be clear to go. Correct, after we see 4911 come through here, we will be clear to go down the trail. So guys, I think it's safe to say no one else is coming. We should be heading back soon. We're gonna see if there's any stragglers or anybody that's broken um, that we can pull down this trail. And day one, KOH complete. It's a wrap. Next episode will be Everyman Challenge. Every man challenge. What is every man challenge? I don't know. Find out. It's like a fight to the death in the rocks. No, but there's a stock class in the next episode. Stock class. And that means you have to use stock axles, stock drivetrain, which is insane. I can't even imagine what stock components like that could actually make it through some parts of this course. So that in itself is a challenge. So, all right, guys. If you guys like what you've seen, please like and subscribe, comment. If you guys want us to do some Built to Destroys on any of these episodes, drop them in the comments. We'll see you guys around. Later. This is Indiana Jones. <laughs> this is the ride Indiana Jones, bro. For real. Uh, 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 uh,